to come on and speak about some stuff today for you all. Uh, got my boy Russet. My ass back there too. He knocked out. All right, no, there you go. Russet's a good boy. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about how you guys should work with dogs. And will there be um, quote unquote fame, overnight success, and I guess you can call it like extreme wealth, like AKA rich, like will you get rich working with dogs? Short term answer, yes. If you're, you know, into it and not looking at it for the money. So there is no way possible to become rich off of dogs overnight it won't take a week it won't take a month it won't take a year this will take you some time because a lot of you guys want to become breeders no i'm not a breeder myself i'm a dog trainer but i will be breeding maserati back there um when he's of age and i get a semen analysis done but a lot of you guys are rushing to breed the dogs you have males that are six seven months old and you're studying them out that should not be the case um you guys have females who haven't even hit their second heat yet and they're on their second or third litter um females should not be bred until they hit their third litter it's okay buddy it's okay <laughs> females should not be bred unless they hit their third heat i mean Males should not be bred unless they hit two years of age and have a semen analysis done. Now, if you have a negative semen analysis, do not breed that male. Just because he is two years of age does not mean that you are eligible to breed that male. Negative? No. Positive? Absolutely. He has good semen to put inside of, quote unquote, the bitch. Um, females, on the other hand... You run into risk of hip dysplasia when you breed a female too early. And even when you wait and give it time and breed her at the appropriate time, um, she still runs it into risk of having hip dysplasia if she has a natural birth. So I would recommend with your females, every time she gives birth, um, have a c-section done every single time sorry i'm not sure what happened um but yeah with those females every single time get a c-section unless you're 100 percent sure that you know what you're doing how to enlarge a pup when she gets breached if she gets breached there is not always 100 percent chance that she will but there is small cases um but yeah as far as breeding and all that stuff goes i don't think it's for everybody like even with me i won't be um breeding like i won't try to become a big time breeder i will be breeding maserati but that's because i want to see what i can change in his pups because he he's a damn good looking dog and um his parents weren't looking the best they were kibble fed all their lives um they were overweight when i picked maserati up he was seven weeks old so he wasn't even ready to go home yet but the lady had already had him on hard food. So I'm like, okay, that's already a red flag. And uh, she told me that he hadn't eaten or drank in two days. And I assume it's just because she didn't want to clean up, clean up his pooper pee, which is unfortunate. But immediately, the day I got him, I took him to my job. Um, he got a, he got a uh, I forgot what kind of bath it's called, a hypoallergenic bath. Um, and I immediately got to work. Like, I wanted to know what I could do to better him. Like, when it comes to my dogs, I'm a better person when, when my dogs are better. My dogs make me a better person. So, I wanted to see what I could do in my best power to help him out. Did a bunch of research. Um, believe it or not, I had trial and error when it came to the raw diet. I tried the raw firsthand, and he, like... At the time, he was in the small creek, and like the inside and almost the entire outside of the crate was covered in poop. So that was a lot to deal with. And in my head, I'm like, nope, we're not doing it raw. We're just gonna go back to kibble. Went back to kibble for like I'm gonna say a month, 
And I'm like, this something just doesn't doesn't feel right. So I tried raw again, and I noticed that he wasn't having you know diarrhea. He was having soft stools, sometimes runny, but not straight diarrhea. So I'm like, all right, we got some potential. We can we can work with this. So did a did a bunch of more research and found out that I was getting all of my numbers wrong. Like everything that I was feeding him, I was feeding him too much of it. So I had to weigh him, get everything right, and figure out what measurements of each item did I back here smelling. But figure out the correct measurement of each item that I needed to give him. Once I figured that out, his poops got regulated and they were all solid, very small, firm. A uh, little to no smell, surprisingly. That was to my surprise. I was like, wait a minute. Because normally dog poop reeks. Their poop, like, unless you're, I'm standing, like, I'm hovering over it. That's the only time I can smell it. Um, teeth, very clean. Um, they always full of energy. They're not just slumped over versus, you know, a kibble-fed dog that's just always lazy. Um, then again, they are working dogs, so... Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on, kind of rant to you guys about what I got going on. Um, I will be dropping some recipes again that, that this stuff is not free. My recipes are not free. Um, like I said, I, I enjoy helping you guys, but at the end of the end of the day, we all got to live somehow is life. You know, it's a lot of services that I do offer will not be free. Um, my virtual training services that I do over FaceTime or Zoom for my Android users are not free. But just in case you guys are interested in that, you can send me a message either on Facebook, um, TikTok at Leash for K9s. That is Leash, the number four K9s, K9, K9S, and Instagram, Leash for K9s. Um, I will always respond. I don't know what it is about, you know, the big time con content creators when it comes to people asking them questions or reaching out to them and, and they feel like they're too big to not respond to anybody. I'm not doing that. So if you do reach out to me, I will respond at all times, whether it is a, a text back or I, I send a voice message. A lot of times I'll respond to you with the video, depending on, you know, the question that you ask me. So, uh, yeah, that's that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy me ranting. Um, you guys have a good rest of your day. Take care of your dogs.